All right, it's House Bill 616 is what it's called, and it seeks to ban the instruction of anything deemed, as the bill puts it, divisive or inherently racist. According to the bill, that includes critical race theory, lessons in diversity, equity, or inclusion, and in kindergarten through third grade, anything that includes sexual orientation or gender identity. Republican representatives Mike Loichik and Jean Schmidt are the sponsors of House Bill 616. I called both of their offices today hoping to ask why they feel curriculum in Ohio schools is divisive or inherently racist. Neither returned my messages, but I did try to speak with Schmidt after a committee meeting today. Are you able to walk and talk and just explain it a little bit? Why do you feel the need to introduce this here in Ohio? Why don't you want to talk about this bill that you are sponsoring? Hours later, Loichik and Schmidt emailed a joint statement. Parents deserve and should be provided a say in what is taught to children in their schools, the statement says in part. The intent of this bill is to provide them with the tools to be able to see what their child is being taught. Fellow Republican House Speaker Bob Cup did pause to speak with us after his committee meeting. He said his caucus hasn't discussed what's in the bill yet. I just um, noticed that it was introduced. I haven't had a chance to read it, so um, we'll be looking at it and see what it is. I haven't read 616, so I mean, there's nothing to talk about. But on the other side of the aisle, House Minority Leader Allison Russo did share her thoughts. This, to me, speaks to the extremism that continues to run rampant in the state house, and we cannot continue to grow as a state economically, uh, do right by our Ohio families if uh, we don't embrace our diversity and make sure that this state is inclusive for all Ohioans. If if you uh, don't feel comfortable speaking publicly about your bill and answering questions about it, then maybe it should be introduced. We'll get that full statement on NBC4i.com for you. Meanwhile, I also spoke with advocates for a